Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. First of all, thank you for taking your valuable time and interest in this research related topic. To begin with, I would like to share that the main reason that motivates me to record this video is because during the initial days of my research program, there was the time when I had to start publishing my research work. And at that point of time, I literally have no clue or idea about how and where to get my research findings published. So with this experience, I have the feelings that there is a possibility that there are some researchers, especially the beginners, who might be in the same positions or situation like I was. So therefore, I want to create a kind of awareness about this topic through this video. As a beginner, to know more about how and where to publish irrespective of the researcher's background or discipline. These are the following broad stages that the researchers need to know or will go through when it comes to paper writing and publishing processes. Now, let's see in detail the process involved in each stage. Starting with the first and the most crucial stage, that is the writing of the manuscript or manuscript preparations. It is in this stage where the researchers will transcribe and draft his or her concept or idea or theory or findings supported by the data compiled during the study. This stage involves a lot of brainstorming, dedication, motivation, attention, and specification. All details and information drafted will undergo a series of modifications and editing until it is finalized. And once the draft is final, it is technically called the manuscript. So generally, the manuscript consists of the following major component, that is the preliminary material, the body of the text, and the reference list. It is known that the normal manuscript will consist of the following different sub-components. However, for the sake of the beginners, let me focus on the preliminary material sections. And this section consists of the title of the manuscript. And the title of the manuscript should be concise, comprehensive, attractive, and specifically focus on the attention and the intentions of the paper. Next, what do you mean by first author, second author, or third author, and so on? This indicates the contribution of the authors to the work. The one who contributed the maximum is the first author. Other authors could be the supervisors or the co-supervisors, the co researchers or scientists or researchers from within or from other institutions. Full postal address indicate the institution where the research was carried out and the author's affiliation can be from more than one institution in one research paper. The corresponding author is the author who is communicating with the journal and receiving information or update from the journal on behalf of the rest of the authors mentioned in the paper. You can find the details of the corresponding authors in the front page or as a footnote of the published papers. Keywords, just like when you want to see, say, a movie trailer here on YouTube, you type keywords such as movie 2021, etc. Similarly, the few selected words that make it easy to find the research work represented the key words. For every research paper, there are normally four to six keywords. Body of the text constitute of the abstract, the introduction, the materials and methods, result and discussion, conclusion, recommendation, tables and figures. 
and the last major component of the manuscript is the reference list. A good manuscript will be accepted by the journal if it possesses the following important characteristics. The manuscript should be original in nature and plagiarism free. And the research methodology, such as the sampling, sampling size and sampling design, even the statistical tools used in this study is correct. The findings of the study contribute to the existing scientific knowledge. The ethical considerations are taken care of and also the manuscript is written properly and effectively. Next step is, once the manuscript is ready from the author's side, the next stage is the selection of the journal. Selection of the suitable journal for the publication of the manuscript normally require a lot of in-depth research. From my personal point of view, during this stage, there are few important decisive factors that a researcher should look for and avoid in a journal during this selection stage. First, let us see what are the points the researcher should consider during journal selection stage. The journal should be from similar discipline or area of research. The journal should be peer reviewed by experts. The journal should have international standard serial number or ISSN number, both electronic and printed version. The journal should be indexed in a globally or national accepted database. The journal should be inclusive in a UGC care list in case if you are from India. And this is my personal view. Opt for publication with in journals with more than 8 to 10 volume. Check for the authenticity of the publishing house and also check for the fee structure because this differ from journal to journal. Some journal charge and some don't. Next, we will see the points that the researcher should avoid while selection of journals. What are these different points? The researcher should avoid selecting the journal if the journal is quality is poor. Avoid journals that does not review the submitted manuscript. Avoid journals that does not follow standard publishing practices. Avoid journals that is not included in the UGC care list in case you are from India. Avoid predatory journals. Avoid journals that ask for immediate payments after submission. Avoid journals that promise to publish the submitted manuscript within few days after submissions. Now, once the researcher keep in mind the points to look for and what to avoid, the researcher will, will be able to select few journals. Then from the selected few, one that deemed fit for the manuscript will be selected for submission of the manuscript. Once this stage of selection is completed, the follow-up stage is preparation of the manuscript as per the selected journal format. In this stage, the researcher can Google the selected journal website and go to the journal author's guideline section on the website of the selected journal. Then the researcher have to prepare his or her manuscript as per the format of the journal following the given instruction in this author section. For example, such as change the font type, font size, spacing, in-text citation, reference style, etc. of the manuscript as per the standards given by the journal chosen. However, the point to remember is different journals adopt unique method and format for manuscript preparation. During this stage, 
check carefully for the following. Check what type of in-text citation or reference do the journal adopt and follow accordingly. It can either be an author year system or the reference numbering system at a superscript or a, a, or a bracket format. Check what kind of reference list is adopted and follow accordingly. Ensuring all references mentioned in the text are cited in the reference list and vice versa. And also check how tables and figures should be prepared. The researcher must ensure that all figures and tables are properly numbered and cited in the text. Also ensure that the position of the figures and table is either within or at the end of the text and ensure that the format of all as per the instruction given in the author guideline section. Now, once the manuscript is edited and arranged as per the instruction given by in the author's guideline section in the journal website, the next stage is the submission of the manuscript to the selected journal. For doing so, the researcher must carefully read the instruction of how the manuscript should be submitted to the journal. Check for the file type format. It can be either in a single word file or in a PDF file, or sometimes some journal they ask in section wise, either in a word file or PDF file. This again differ from journals to journal. And also check for the mode of submission of the manuscript. The manuscript should be submitted either directly through email or you first have to register yourself and then log in and subsequently submit the manuscript. However, most of the time, in addition to the manuscript, you have to also attach the following document during submission stage. Even though these additional requirements totally differ from one journal to the another. For example, cover letter. Cover letter will explain or provide information about the purpose of submission of the manuscript to the journal. This letter is directed to the chief editor or to the editor or the editor in charge of the journal. Declaration letter is the letter that ensures that the manuscript submitted to the journal for publication has not been published elsewhere. Name of the reviewers selected by the authors. Sometimes some journals will propose the author who submitted the manuscript to select two or three reviewers of their choice who are an expertise in the related fields. Funding received. This will provide information if the researcher's work is aided financially by any organization or institution or agency. Authors' contributions. Sometimes the journals will also ask the authors to provide brief information about the professional details or status of the authors who submitted the manuscript. Copyrights. This normally you have to submit either at the at this stage or after acceptance of the manuscripts. This copyright form is mandatory to all journals. The copyright form will be signed by all the respective authors who contributed of interest and ethical consideration, if any, is also provided sometimes. Once you have done all of the above and provide all necessary requirements, then the manuscript is officially submitted to the journal you have selected. That is, the manuscript is submitted for evaluation by experts. Next stage is awaiting for the response about the decision of the journals regarding the manuscript submitted. The first intimation from the journal will be the acknowledgement letter of receiving the submitted manuscript from the corresponding author. After this, the waiting game is on. 
and this might take months or more. After a certain period of time, when the manuscript have been evaluated by the experts or reviewers, the journal will again update the corresponding author in three general possible ways. The first two are the most direct response. This manuscript is accepted for publication or rejected. And along with this response, the corresponding authors will also receive acceptance letter or the non-acceptance letter from the journal. However, sometimes the reviewers or experts who evaluate the manuscript would like to ask for additional information or clarifications about certain section or parts of the manuscript. In such cases, if the authors modify the manuscript and clear the doubt or inadequate information, the manuscript is accepted after the modification. This process actually improve the quality of the manuscript multiple number of times. The last stage and final stage is the publication of the research article or research paper. The accepted manuscript will be designed, edited, and presented as per the journal style. Then before publishing the accepted manuscript, the journal will send a galley proof or kind of proof reading to the authors where the authors will cross check the galley proof for any spelling mistake, missing page or content, or if any component of the manuscript is missing in the galley proof. And if there is anything missing, this should be immediately informed to the journal and corrected galley proof will be finally accepted by both parties. Then the accepted manuscript is officially and technically called a published research paper. So with that, we have come to the end of this video. And I believe this video will be helping you in understanding the various stages through which a paper publication will have to go through, right from its inception when it was a manuscript till it become a research with that, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope this video is of great help to you. And if it is so, please kindly like, share, comment and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you once again and God blessed.